All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim scan. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, hey, look at over and over and over and over again. Look, it's, look, same thing every week, and it's turning up. It, every week, let's get Romans right quick. So people was at a baseball game, you know what I'm saying? Look, and shots fired, you know. All kind of biters at, man, biters at the front of our home, shortages of foods. It, it, it's, it's really going down. Let's get Romans right quick. Quick little lesson. Through the spirit of Yahweh, by Shemel, Shah, Lord, one of the elect that's edified. Nobody shouldn't have to keep writing it to you what time it is. You should know perfectly what time it is. You Hebrew Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and they don't make any so-called temperatures, out outrageous temperatures, you know, straight, straight up hundreds and above. It, it's really going. Things are changing on the earth. Romans chapter 13. Romans chapter 13, where we started verse 11. And that knowing the time. Once again, you got to know what time it is. We're living in some deadly serious times. Remember Ephesians, the fifth chapter. Walk circumspectly, I think it's verse 15. Walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Look at look at the spirits being put on these people. Look, look, at, look at how these people are coming nowadays. Violently, carelessly, they don't care if there's a camera on them. They don't care if you're recording them. They they don't care about nothing. As long as they get the job done. The Lord said, look, man. And that knowing the time, that now, not later, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. See, you got to come out of that stupor. First, come back to your nationality. The Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, we, we need protection. You, you see it's really going down. This place is about to be destroyed. The Lord is ushering in a new kingdom. A, a new management, a new ruler, the former thing shall be passed away. This this age is about to pass away. And you can see clearly how it's going to go down. You can see clearly how it's going to go down. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. So salvation is like right around the corner. Salvation is like right around the corner. But look, man, this place is getting ready to go through some turbulence for real for real this is proverbs 22 babylon the great and throughout the four corners of the earth not just here in babylon everything that you see going on throughout the four corners of the earth look it's coming here proverbs 22 and 3 let's just click on it proverbs 22 and 3 get, look get ready israel get ready every day that goes past the the chefs in the grocery stores or at these um little stores or whatever it's getting more emptier and emptier, man. You, before you leave out the crib, you better show enough prayer. When you go into a store, look, pray more than ever. Now, I'm going to get that too. Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man, a wise man, foreseeth the evil, meaning bad times. Well, remember, shouldn't have to write until you what time it is. You already know. Uh, look, look. Therefore, knowing the time, it's high time to wake out of sleep, walking around like ain't nothing ain't happening. Look, it's happening. Millions of people are facing eviction. On top of everything else that's happening, storms, floods, wars. We, we, yeah, we sound like a broken record. Yeah, we do. So what? We still prophesying, and everything that we're prophesying of is happening. What does it say again? Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil. And hide of himself where? Within the comforter, within this word right here. But the simple pass on and are punished. Are you simpletons? Are you numb nuts? This the, the despise this word. How long will you simple ones love simplicity? And the fool delight in scorning, man. And it's scorning. Well, you gonna mock until the missiles come? You gonna mock until, until it's a real famine? For real, for real? More than what you're seeing right now? You're going to keep mocking until all hell break loose, and then you're going to say, oops, my bad, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, no, a prudent man, he foreseeth the evil, so he gonna hide himself within his comfort or within his word. But the simple pass on and are punished. So a whole lot of people are simple out here, and guess what? They're gonna be punished. Look, and that's according to the Bible. You you, you see it right there. Let's get let's get um Zephaniah. It's gonna get Zephaniah. You people are in for a rude awakening, man. I mean a rude awakening. Zephaniah chapter 3. Let's get this. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 5. The just Lord, the righteous Lord, ain't nothing wrong with our power. Ain't nothing wicked about our power. Look at this. Off-duty officer involved in deadly shooting outside Kansas City bar. Another one. An another one. Enough bodies found. I'm looking at the news. We stay looking at the news. A uh, massive little, little uh, Russian rocket attack destroys apartment building. They're leading at least 18. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 5. The just Lord, the righteous Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning, do if he bring his judgment to light. 80-year-old man charged out the plowing van into a crowd of runners. A grandfather mountain, an 80-year-old man. These people got spirits on them, man. Old and young. You got an 80-year-old man plowing into a bunch of people. You know what I'm saying? A grandfather mountain. We got the this scripture right here is speaking volume, man. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He would not do iniquity. Every morning, do if he bring his judgment to light. So judgment going forth each and every day. He fell if not, but the unjust know of no shame. All this judgment going forth. Every time you watch the news, it's something different every morning. It's something different every every um evening. And it's something different every night. So things are constantly happening on the face of the earth. And who's orchestrating it all? The God of the Bible. You, you you guess if you if you don't know now, now you know if you don't know now you know and we just prove it right quick according to the bible isaiah 45 we're just gonna prove it right quick isaiah 45 and 7 i form the light and create darkness i make peace and create evil meaning these bad times I, the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, do of all these things. Look at all these homeless people nowadays, man. I mean, it's, it's really outrageous, man. At first, it was like kind of behind the scenes. You can see it just a little bit. But now, man, no matter where you go, you go downtown, homeless people everywhere. You go to the park. You at the bus stop. Laying all in front of the stores. Laying every damn well, man. It's, it's really going down. Why? Because the wicked is ruling. Let's, let's get that right quick. Let's just get it. And it ain't going. It ain't getting no better here. All right? You're going to start to see an increased influx of, of just bad things just happening, man. All right? But, you, but your politicians, you know what I'm saying, and the people that so-called run this society, they're, they're living high off the hall while your ass starving, while everybody else is doing bad. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. But you, but you think it's all good. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. So long as the wicked is ruling, you're going to continue to mourn no matter what year it is. No matter what season it is. Heat wave in Texas is driving up demand for power. So that means your light bill going up. That means it's getting ready to be blackouts throughout these different cities and states, man. And countries, man. You see, it, it, people light bill high as hell, man. People water bill high because they got to constantly take showers and things of that nature. It, it, it's going down. Why? Because the wicked is ruling. So look, so guess what? You're going to mourn. And the Lord God is telling you this each and every day, man. Come back to your how about Shem Yahweh Shai. Or, or, or go through it. And all of us going to go through it on certain, on some type of level. But at least if you're going through it and you got the Lord on your side, there's hope. But it ain't going to be no hope for you other people, man. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. Let's get this. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Perilous times, man. 
serious, dangerous, uncertain, man. People don't know if they're going to have some food one day or starve the next. Have some lights or be in the dark the next. Have some water, go without shower the next. You don't know. One minute you're alive, next minute you're deleted. One minute you're doing well, next minute you're wounded. You see? Because we're living in perilous times. I'm, I was, I'm looking at the news now. Shit, shots fired off at the baseball game. We, we, we all know what time it is. Let's get Ephesians right quick, and I'm, I'm going to wrap it up after this. Just look, just get, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Just giving you warning, early morning warning from the God of the Bible, Ephesians chapter 5. I'm going to go straight to the point, 15. See then that you walk circumspectly. You're supposed to be looking around at what's going on. Do you not see things are happening in the earth? That's why you got to walk circumspectly no matter where you at. If you're at the grocery store, if you're at the park, if you're at work, if you're on a bus, if you're downtown at the bus station, you're driving in your car, you're at the stoplight. Be looking around, right? Paying attention to what's going on. Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time. Shit, if you're in the hair salon, you're in Walmart, no matter where you at, all right? You're out walking your dog. Walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil, man, all right? Deadly serious times. Remember the promise prophesied of war, evil, famine, destruction, death, man. It's a time and a season for everything. But, but we're living in a season of chaos, of death, of destruction, and, and all the above, and the hell with these people are saying. You see, you saw what went on over there in Sri Lanka. You see, you, you saw what happened. Only thing you got to do is type in Sri Lanka. You saw what happened over there. Second Ezra 14 and um, 16. For yet greater evils. Got to keep bringing this scripture out. This, this scripture is speaking loud and clear. For yet greater evils, meaning bad times, than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter, man. For look how much more the world shall be weaker through age. So much more shall evils, meaning bad times, increase upon them that dwell therein. So evils are going to increase, man. Forget what everybody else is talking about. To hell with the Emmys. To hell with the Grammys. To hell with BET. To hell with all that nonsense, man. Greater evils. I, I do got one more. Greater evils, meaning more bad times than the things that you're seeing now is coming down the pipeline. St. Luke 21. The hell with the circus and bread. Things are popping off. St. Luke chapter 21. I'm going to go straight to the point. Go straight to the point. St. Luke 21 and 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that must come to pass. That, that shall come to pass. Not might. I think about it. Hold on. Give me a second. No. Constantly praying that we're kind of worthy to escape all the things that shall come to pass. The famine, the race wars, the class wars, the civil unrest, the economic woes. When it gets real dark out here, you see, the blackouts, you see, and, and everything, the gumbo. The gumbo, put it all into one pot because it's going to be happening all at the same time, man. Constantly praying. That we're kind of worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Things are happening on the earth, Israel. Walk circumspectly. Shalom.